Welcome back. Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. And I can't wait to share with you this very detailed afternoon tea party setup. It's going to be so much fun. Lots of recipes, lots of tips and tricks. And as you know, it's November. The leaves are changing. Spooky season is over, but it's not quite Christmas. The nights are getting colder. Thanksgiving is around the corner. And this is a great time to host a tea party. My name is Habiba Tanau. If you're new here, I'm a physician turned content creator. I love bringing you lifestyle videos, cooking videos, shopping hauls, among other things. And I love a good tea party. First things first, I have an unboxing from Tea Bloom. So I was gifted the contents of this box and I'm super, super excited to share it with you. Let's see, let's see. Okay, first things first, we have a pretty box. And I believe this is a box of their teas, herbal teas. This is called the Mother's Bouquet Collection and it has all the directions on the back of the box, very precise directions how to steep the tea. And look, how pretty, how nice. Look at the card, lots of beautiful flowers. And there's a list of the three different teas in this collection, Sahara Apple Spice, Chamomile Citrus Petals, and Raspberry Hibiscus Bloom. They make such beautiful teas. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's see, can number one. This is the Raspberry Blend. Ooh, if you could smell it. I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. Next, let's take a look at the chamomile citrus petals. I feel like this one's gonna be really relaxing at the end of the day. Smells really nice too. This is the Sahara apple spice. Mmm, smells so good. Now you might notice I specifically picked herbal teas, meaning these teas don't have caffeine right? But they definitely have a large selection of black teas and different types of green teas that have caffeine if you prefer that. Yeah, check out the Tea Blue website. It's beautiful and I don't have to tell you all the different benefits of tea. They have these flowering blooming teas. They have loose tea and anything to make your next tea party super fancy. Along with the tea, I was also sent a teapot. This is the Buckingham Palace tea set and I can't wait to open it because this is the star <laughs> of this tea party that is about to commence. In the box is a brochure telling you about their warranty program and also showing you a sample of some of their items. Yes, I do have that first set up there, the celebration set and I also now have one of the tea sets. So they have a number of different really nice products. You got to check them out. Okay, let's get in the box. Ooh, looks like they included a pack of their flowering teas. Kind of like a sample for you to try. These are two flowering teas, or a packet of two. And then here is the lid for the teapot. I like all the gold detail on it, and you can see the two holes, it's vented. Nice. Is it giving royalty? <laughs> Again, this was inspired by the royals, Buckingham Palace. Along with the porcelain lid is a porcelain infuser. This helps strain the tea leaves should you desire to use, you know, loose tea leaves. Once I took out the glass teapot, I actually thought the box was empty, but it was still kind of heavy. So I realized there's another piece in the bottom. And this is the warmer. So the teapot comes with a warmer. It is also made out of porcelain and it also has that rose gold detail. I was pleasantly surprised to see they included a little tea light in the warmer. If you watch my last video, you know I said when it comes to the holiday season, I always stock up on tea lights. Anyway, the warmer is solid, well made, and very, very pretty. According to the description, Tea Bloom's Buckingham Palace teapot set is meant to inspire hosts to hold the type of elegant parties that existed in Buckingham's history, like Queen Elizabeth II or Queen Victoria. Homeowners will be able to show class and elegance when they use the Buckingham Palace 
tea set in their parties. Guests can watch the flowering tea brew right through the transparent glass. The tea set will charm your guests with its elegant pattern set in rose gold while you serve up to 40 ounces of tea. The tea set comes with a teapot warmer, porcelain lid and handle, and a stainless steel infuser. You will be the perfect host with your Buckingham Palace tea set. I also wanted to point out they have many different types of tea sets and teapots at different price points. Now, before I can get this fall-themed party going, I have to get rid of all of this Halloween decor. Because as we know, spooky season is over. Time to get rid of the bats, the witch's broom, <laughs> the cobwebs, and all the other spooky things that I have put up. The problem is, I'm not feeling great. I haven't been. And uh, this is going to be a lot of work. But uh, we got to do it. We got to do it because I'm tired of seeing all this Halloween stuff. It was so much fun putting all this stuff up. But as you know, <laughs> it's a pain when you got to take it off. So these spider webs got to come off the chandelier because that is not the vibe. <laughs> not the vibe. This is the next day. The Halloween stuff is all gone, most of it. But we did have to bring in our plants from outside because it was really cold. And as you can see, this hibiscus plant sadly, so sadly, is almost dead dead from the cold so bring in your plants people all right yeah you can see i still have some halloween stuff in the living room also to take off so i'm feeling a little overwhelmed you know hours later all the halloween decor is gone but now we have a mess to clean up this is real life real life people <laughs> ain't no maid here i gotta clean it up so yeah it's not glamorous I also have these flowers that Kenton bought me over a week ago and I was supposed to use them. And I feel so sad because they look half dead. You know, they don't have that fresh, vibrant look, but I still want to use them. I was supposed to use them, but I wasn't feeling good, so I couldn't film. Okay, Kareem's helping me boil some eggs because we're gonna need some eggs for this egg salad that's gonna make sandwiches. Back to the flowers, I need to salvage them. I think I'll put them in the family room, not on the table. Yeah, not on the party table, but I just feel bad to throw away flowers I never used. But overall, it doesn't look too bad, right? Fresh water, plant food, not bad. Eggs are almost done and we are getting this tea party on the road. To stay organized, I think it's very important to have a list. So I always give myself a list or an outline of chores that I need to do and also a menu that I plan to prepare. I think the tip to a successful tea party is having a variety of foods, small dainty foods that people can easily pick up. So you want to make sure you have sandwiches. If you're trying to model a British style tea party, you would have sandwiches, you might have scones, and you would have a variety of sweet treats. Now I would like to focus on the actual setup. So I have my table very blank and the back wall is also very neutral, but I'm gonna go ahead and add this chandelier just to add a little bit of sparkle. I love the crystals and how it dangles. And I'm going to make the space feel a little bit like fall because it's not December yet, people. <laughs> I know some of y'all are decorated for Christmas, but I am going to be decorating more like fall because we are again in November. Can we get through Thanksgiving first? All right, here comes a neutral pumpkin. Very simple. Now I'm back in the kitchen. I have some organic baby dill. If you're planning to make any English sandwiches or English style sandwiches, you'll need some dill to add to cream cheese for some filling. We also went ahead and made the egg salad and chicken salad and we'll refrigerate that in plastic containers. So the key is to do as much of the prep for your tea party um, a day in advance or several days in advance if you can. My goal is to enjoy the seasons and not rush through it. So for now, I would like the chandelier to have a touch of fall. However, I have no business standing on a chair and table to do this, <laughs> but let's see. Next, I wanna focus on a tablecloth. For a tea party, you'll never go wrong with 
using a crisp white cotton or linen tablecloth, but I want some color. This one is looking more like summer or spring, so no. This one is perfect for fall or Thanksgiving, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the table. And then this one is kind of my favorite with the leaves. I bought this online. Okay, so the tablecloth is on, but I'm kind of underwhelmed and it needs to be ironed. Yeah, it needs to be ironed. So I'm going to layer it. We're gonna put this one on first, which is very glam. And then I'm gonna layer it with this one. So what do you think? Next, should I add white tapered candles to the table or these kind of orange brown ones which have a fall theme? Or no candles at all? Plates, plates, plates. Should we go with a modern look, this black plate? Kind of looks out of place, right? But then when we layer it with this green plate, not bad. Definitely gives fall. Add a cup and saucer and voila. What do you think? Or we could go black on black. Actually, that's a dark brown with black and then the white cup and saucer. You can also use a charger if you like, but I tend to not use a charger when I use a tablecloth. Traditional or vintage is more my vibe when it comes to a tea party. However, this set, I only have two plates left, the two plates you're looking at, because the whole set crashed. I was away for work and the kids many years ago told me they crashed and broke, so I don't have any more. I loved this set. Anyway, Kenton ended up getting me another set from an auction and this is also vintage china from france and i absolutely love it you've seen these before the scalloped gold edges really go with the tablecloth today though we're going to use a different set but i just wanted to show you how it looks i think i'm going to be using this set by oscar de la renta this is the side plate or what you would use as a dessert plate or even salad plate so not the dinner plate and of course remember your cutlery knives and forks and spoons and teaspoons. And of course, you can't have a tea party without a cake tiered stand. So this tiered stand has three layers, right? Three levels. You can put dessert on one, scones on one, and sandwiches on the other, or whatever you like. Sometimes people use them for cupcakes only. So this one has two levels, and this one has like a copper finish. I think I bought these either in Home Goods or TJ Maxx many years ago. So they serve me well through the holidays. A tiered cake stand is definitely an essential for your holiday season and also for your tea party. There's so many online variations if you can't find a local store. I love when they use vintage plates to create the stand. Absolutely love it. Just make sure you're getting the right size. You can also buy a kit, a simple, easy, cheap kit that you can use to create your cake stand if you have a drill. So if you have the right drill, you can actually make a cake stand yourself. And and you can also go to Etsy to find unique variations of this, especially if you were doing like an Alice in Wonderland look. There is also the option to just buy a frame, it's kind of like a cake stand frame and you add the plates. If you're really on a budget, you can alternate plates with cups or if you just don't have any other option. And they also may have paper options, but I don't think these are ideal unless you're doing it for kids. Another option is to stack single cake stands like these glass ones I have in varying size. So I'm stacking the smaller one on top of the larger one and I have a set of three. Not required, but they certainly add a nice touch to your dessert plates, doilies. These are paper doilies and they're very inexpensive. You can find them practically in any grocery store or even places like the Dollar Tree or Dollar General or online. I actually bought those from Timu. Next, let's pick the napkins. Simple white cotton napkins are elegant, or you can use something with a little bit more color and embellish it, like these fall leaves and raffia. Or if you don't have fabric or it's not that formal, then you can certainly use paper. So, you know, in the U.S., they have tons of paper napkins with a lot of different colors and themes, and they're fun and easy and inexpensive. I've decided to use these white plates under my dessert plates just to layer it, kind of like a charger. I just think it makes it look nice. 
And let's go ahead and finish setting the table. So we have our forks and knives, we have our plates, cups and saucers. Now what about glasses? Just because you're serving tea doesn't mean people may not want to drink water or even champagne. These with the fall leaves are nice and they go, but I think it's too much. So how about these champagne flutes? Very simple and elegant, that's an option. You can serve mimosas in there or you can serve champagne. Or we can do these crystal water goblets. I think I'm going to go with this because it's simple, sparkly, and doesn't take away from the rest of the table, you know, without doing too much. All right, so I think we're almost done. And the cool thing is I'm doing this the night before, okay? Now, what about like your milk and sugar? Where are you going to put that? Your honey, your lemon? In my case, I won't be needing the milk jug or milk container because I will be serving herb teas. So they don't usually need milk. Don't forget the strainers if you're using loose tea and not tea bags. It's a new day, a beautiful fall day, and we have some fresh flowers, brand new flowers, sunflowers, some roses. I think there's a few carnations and lilies in a simple colored mason jar. You will notice, even though I have a circular table, it's a large table, so I'm going to put each of the vases on each end of the table and let the cake stand take center stage. You see, you see? And make sure the flowers aren't too tall because again the cake stand with the food should be the tallest i've got my morning cup of tea and it's nice to cross off the list items that i've already done feeling accomplished but we still have a lot to do like set up the sandwiches and last minute cake decorating and getting dressed yeah so let's get going Time for a little shameless plug. I could be wearing the Kenton and Habiba black apron, but I think I'm going to wear something else. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe if you've been watching this content and you like these kind of videos. I will definitely be encouraged to bring you more. And yeah, leave me a comment. What do you think so far? It's nice to have prepped most of the food the day before, so everything else related to the food is super easy for me to do now. But anyway, I'm just going to let you watch. I've been talking way too much for somebody who isn't feeling that great. I have been talking a lot. So I'm just going to let you watch and we'll come back when I'm done.
What color does it look like in the... Like greenish on camera. Yeah, really? Slightly green. Yeah, I know. Like a bad poop. <laughs> I think I'm finally done. We're done. <laughs> and everything looks so pretty and ready for you to join me. Well, I wish. But anyway, don't forget to have your sugar cubes and your honey. And also don't forget your milk if you need it. If you're serving scones or scones, have your jam and clotted cream. Or maybe if you're in America, you're just doing biscuits. That would probably be the closest equivalent. And of course, if you're doing this for Thanksgiving, you can have other things like pumpkin pie. Maybe do some miniature 
pumpkin pie. That would be nice. Or some miniature rum cakes. Ooh, girl, I will definitely have some miniature rum cakes come my Christmas tea party. So look out for that. Also, for the fall or autumn, you can look at Pinterest for some inspiration like these mini apple pies or shooters or mini donuts, mini caramel apples. So many fun recipes to try out there. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you were inspired and will save this video or share it with a friend. <laughs> you don't have to do all that. All right, honey. What are you doing? He's posing. He's posing. He's posing. <laughs> Boost it out. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our tea party. So, of course, the star of the show is the tea. What kind of tea is it? This one is a raspberry. Let's see, I have the card here. This one is the raspberry hibiscus bloom in our star teapot here. Okay, he has the Sahara apple spice and both of these teas um, are herbal teas that are caffeine free. Tea bloom? Tea bloom, yeah, oh, okay. tea bloom. Timeless moments tea bloom. Oh, so we're having a timeless moment right now? <laughs> we're having a timeless moment okay. right now. Cool, well, All that's right. nice. Thank you. Okay. Okay, napkins on your... Yep. Even though this is not supposed to be an etiquette class, but you know. No, 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 no. No, 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 You wouldn't go to a fight. Whoa! What? Is this for me? I thought you said this was for me. It's for you, but no, there is a way to behave and conduct yourself. Stop playing. Used, he used to work in fine hotels. Yes, the Mark Hotel. What else? Where are the hotels that you work? Um, I was affiliated with Mandarin Oriental and Hilton. Right, Mandarin Oriental and the Hilton. So, actually, you know what I learned about napkins? You can fold them in a triangle. I don't know if they people still do this, but you can fold it in a triangle, and that way, when you happen to dab your mouth. If you have lipstick on it, it doesn't have to show on the outside. You know, it's folded inward. So anyway, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> All right, I'm supposed to be the hostess, so I'm gonna go ahead and serve you your tea. Would you like to try this one or that one? Um, whichever you would prefer to serve me with. All right, we'll start with the uh, raspberry. <laughs> Now, how does, now how does this stay warm? Oh, it? it's got a little tea light underneath. Yeah, it should have, there's a little tea light underneath. So they come with these little stands and the little tea okay. light underneath. That's cool. Uh -huh. Now, I didn't add sugar. If you want to add sugar, if you want to add lime, or if you want to, no, you don't have to do all that either. At least my upbringing is mostly British influence. No, 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 that's not necessary. That's actually quite pretentious. <laughs> yeah, I just hold it. Right, or whichever way. You don't have to use two hands. Yeah, just with your fingers like so. But you don't have to do all of this. Um, and the other thing too is if you're seated at a table, you don't need to lift your teacup and sauce at the same time. This is if you're standing or if you're walking or you know, you're at an event where there isn't a table, then you would hold it. But since we're sitting hey. seated at a table. What about, just... what about, um, right. I hear that uh, when you like, say example, you put sugar in. Right. Do you stir or do you go back and forth? In this case, if you stir it, yeah. a lot of times the issue is that it makes a lot of noise. So yeah, typically when people have their tea and they're doing yeah. this, the issue is that although in these lovely cups, they're not yeah. making yeah, a lot of noise, funny. but a lot of times people make so much noise Oh, and it makes a mess sometimes. So the point is to stir it like 12 back through 6, a back and forth. Six. Right. The point is not to interrupt your other guests. No. You know, you're just trying not to be oh. rude or obnoxious by making a lot of noise. Right. Right. Yeah, that's all. All right, did you taste it? Yes. 
You did? Yes. So tell us what you think. It's very nice. Really? Yeah, see I didn't add any sugar or anything so I could taste straight the tea. It's actually pleasant plain. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not bitter and uh, you can taste the, uh, the uh, hibiscus. So it's not bad. I'm gonna let Kenton try the Sierra apple next. And again, I did not need the strainer because the tea kind of falls to the bottom. But if you wanted to, and you could use the strainer. See, there's really no, yeah. it just sort of settles. Yeah. <laughs> it looks hot. Yes, it's hot. It's, it's drinking like that one. Why it's supposed to be like, hot. Yeah, this one's like steaming hot. Well, you don't want to burn yourself either, oh. though. So it's much lighter. Mm -hmm. I can taste the apple in it. Right. So that's nice. So Kenton insists on serving me. Even though, again, as the host, you're supposed to serve. <laughs> what are you doing, boo? <laughs> Your tea is served, man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Goofy people. Another, another oh. etiquette point, when you're drinking tea, you're not supposed to look directly at people, meaning I'm not supposed to be look, drinking it and looking at you like that. That's kind of weird. So how was your day today? Yeah, very strange. You're supposed to focus on what you're doing at the moment, which is to direct your eyes into the cup. And don't slurp. No, no slurping. <laughs> Other cultures, you can slurp, right? Yeah. Other cultures, an appreciation Sipping. of food, Sipping, yeah. you slurp or you Sipping. make noises yeah. when you eat and drink, but traditionally not when it comes to, I would say, tea, party. tea parties. Okay, honey, let's eat. Would you like me to serve you or would you like to try? I have here some cucumber sandwiches. Sure. And then we have egg sandwich and we have chicken. Now normally when you serve, you would have little tongs, right? Um, you can, but you don't have to. You can actually pick it up with your hands. Oh. It's totally fine okay. because they're so small and that's the point. They're supposed to be small and dainty. So I'll give you one of each so you can at least try it and let me know what you think. And since the chef was nice enough to make sure I had my own gluten-free version. I have my own plate. Oh, nice. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Chicken and what? Chicken and what? Let's see how good your palate is. Chicken and what? Rice. Ooh, there is no rice in there. Chicken and what? The chicken and um, <laughs> mayo. And, um, <laughs> Kareem wanted us to add grapes in there, but this, which you could, but we didn't. We didn't add grapes in there. Oh, no, we didn't add grapes. I was thinking of us doing like a really big grand one, like when the Christmas season actually hits. This would be great, right, with Nana? Uh, how pretty is this cupcake? I'm gonna cut it in half because it's not something I can put in one bite full. See? Right. Well, honey, how do you think I did considering I haven't been feeling my bestest? Yes, yeah, so, no, but you did a fantastic job and Kareem did a fantastic job. Helping she worked me, yes. very well as a team. Very proud. <laughs> thanks, and, Kareem. And also thank you to T Bloom. Yep, thank you to T Bloom. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you to T Bloom for gifting me this teapot. Yeah. As you can see from my other T Bloom products, I'm already a fan yep. and loyal user of T Bloom products. So, yes, definitely check them out. It would make a great gift for nice. your next get together or just for yourself. I mean, you don't yeah. even need a get together to get one of these teapots. Right. Uh, Christmas, ooh, I can't wait for you to see the tea party I plan to uh, hold for Christmas. 
Yeah, with your mother. Right. If my mother is around and available, because you know she's always busy. Yeah, she's a social butterfly now. She's a social butterfly now, living her life. Right. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Comment below what your favorite part of the video was or what you would have done differently. <laughs> All comments are welcome. I love reading your comments.